Are you interested in seeing if short form videos like shorts on YouTube can convert into long form video watch hour? Well, in this video, I'm going to explore this and see if this is something that is worth doing. I'm also going to show my process for creating the short form content from the long form content using a special tool. I'm gonna to show how to upload that to YouTube and how to link the two together. I'm also gonna show how I take the same shorts videos and repurpose them to another platform, Pinterest. That's one of the platforms that you could repurpose them to and that's the one that I'm going to repurpose them for this effort. And then I'm gonna show how to check to see if those videos have converted, if those shorts have converted to long form video views. Hi, I'm Jamie Reynolds, and I am a nine to fiver working on growing my YouTube channel. And these are the things that I've been testing out, trying, and I'm sharing the results with you as I'm going through this process of monetizing not only my YouTube channel, but also my Amazon influencer. I'm also on TikTok shop. I'm exploring all of these different avenues for adding additional income streams to my existing nine to five income stream. So first off, I'll define what a short is and what long form video is. So on YouTube, you have two different kinds of videos, right? You have a short and a short is defined as a video that's under 60 seconds. So that gets shown on the short speed. Those are videos that are uh, nine by 16, they're vertical videos. Those are just the fast, short form videos that we're used to seeing on other social media platforms as well. So like TikTok has them, uh, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, stuff like that. So long form video is video like this. This is a long form video. It's in the 16 by nine horizontal format. So long form videos is what gets viewers to convert for watch hour shorts has shorts views. So they're, they're two different ways to monetize your channel. And I don't know that you can mix or match them. What I want to test is see if the people that are watching the shorts videos, if I can get them to come over and watch a long form video such as this and see if they'll subscribe to the channel, see if that'll result in more watch hours and help me monetize my channel faster. So that's the definition of what a short is and what long form content is. So I'm actually gonna share my screen in a second, but I wanted to go over real quick what Opus Clip is. Opus Clip is a AI software application that I use to take my long form content such as this and it chops it up into shorts for me. When I share my screen, you're gonna see that you have options for longer clips, but being that my goal is to put it on the shorts feed, I need it for under 60 seconds. So. I'm going to use Opus Clip. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how I'm uploading it to YouTube. Like I said, I'm going to show you how I'm repurposing it over to Pinterest and linking that back. And then I'm going to show you the analytics. And then I also wanted to say that you don't have to pay for a software such as Opus Clip. You can go and do this yourself. I don't personally want to spend the time doing that. And I think Opus Clip is well worth the money for them to just do it for me and I could just download the videos and just use them. So if you're interested in Opus Clip, I'm gonna put a link down below. It is an affiliate link. You can check it out. They do have a free trial. And then if you do end up signing up, then I would get a commission from your sign up. And I thank you in advance. Um, I really think it's an amazing software. I'm also gonna be talking about another piece of software called repurpose.io. And that is also gonna be linked down below. It is also another affiliate link. I use both of these products. I think they're wonderful. And they just save me time, you know, and to me, time is money. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing something manually when I can just pay a small fee and have it done a lot faster and a lot easier for me. If you don't, you know, currently have the funds for that, that's fine. You can totally do this, this same thing that I'm doing today manually without using the two programs that I'm going to go over. But let, let's get into the screen sharing because I think that's the exciting part. Now, I'm sure there's more than one way to do this. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. If you find another way, cool. You can leave a comment down below. I'd be interested to know how you're doing it. But this is how I do it with the tools that I have. So first off, I go on my own channel and I go and I find that long form video that I want to take pieces out of, right? So I go and I find the video. The ones that I think do well are ones like this that are you know, 16 by nine horizontal videos of me talking. And then what Opus Clip does is it kind of brings it into nine by 16 and then you're still in front. I've already done this video. So I'm gonna kind of simulate what I've done. Uh, 
and, and do that. So I, this one right here, this one challenge yourself video. So I'm going to click on the video to open it up. It auto plays. So I'm just going to grab this link. I'm going to just copy this whole link right here, right click and click copy. And then I'm going to go over to Opus clip. And like I said, I put the affiliate link down below. If you could use the affiliate link, that would be amazing. And then you're going to go in here in, after you sign up, you have to, you have to sign up for an account. Even if you want to get a free trial, you just paste the link in here. So right click and click paste. You can also use your keyboard shortcuts. It's going to kind of go and bring in your thumbnail. so you can make sure that it's the right video. And then you're going to scroll down here to where it says AI clipping, and you can change some of these options. So I usually stick with clip basic genre auto clip length. This is where I change it. So it can do clip lengths between zero and three minutes. So because I want to use a short, it has to be less than 60 seconds. So I pick the under 30 second one and the 30 to 59 seconds. So I get both of those are checked. And then like, if you know you're doing a long intro in your video and you don't want to include that as part of your clip, you can kind of bring that in. So like, say I know my intro of my video is, you know, two minutes and 10 seconds. I don't want Opus clip to waste my credits. I've got, I've got credit hours up here. So that that's how you pay for this is, is you use processing time credit. So if I know I have two minutes in the beginning and I've got, you know, so much on the end, I kind of put it in. And then down here you can pick, you can set up your templates and pick like your captions, the colors and, and all that stuff. I've already done all this. I don't want to go over like this in detail. I think this is something that you can do on your own. I want this video to be more about my process than step-by-step. -step. So, and the, and this company has, you know, like great tutorials. So I don't really feel like I need to repeat that. So once I have all that there, I can set save settings as default. But what I would do here is I would cl click this big white button, get clips with one click. And what that's going to do is it's going to process your video and this will take time. And once you click it, I'm not going to click it because I've already done this video and I don't want to waste my credits. It will tell you how long it's going to take. It could take like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, and then it'll send you an email when it's done. And then you go and you pick up your clips. So now I'm going to simulate when I've gotten the email and I'm going to go pick up my clips. So that's going to be actually down here on my main screen. You can, you can see them down here. So I'm just going to click on one of my saved projects here and you can see how it is chunking up my videos and how it is displaying them. So it gives it a title. So this is the title of the video. So when I, I, when I download the video, this is going to be the actual title. You can read the transcript of what it captured, you know, like beginning to end, you can play it. This is exactly what I'm saying, right? It detected what I was saying. It gives it a little rating here on the side. It's saying, you know, viral score, the likelihood of this video will go viral on a short TikTok reels, 99 out of 100. So the hook is good, the flow is good, the value is good, and the trend is good. So you can scroll down and it's got a bunch of clips for me. And it really depends on how long your video is and those other parameters that you put, right? So if your video is an hour long and you want it to be able to get 30 second chunks, you're, you're gonna get way more if your video is only you know, four minutes long and you want three minute clips, you're not going to get as many clips. So you kind of have to, you know, be mindful of that. There's these other things on the side that you can do that I don't do. You can publish it directly to social from here. You can connect your social medias to there. Export to XML. I do download HD. That's download the actual video in high definition. You can edit the clip right here. Like say there's something in here you don't want. You can edit it before you download it. Um, you can add an AI vo voiceover, you can add a B-roll, you can um, change your, your aspect ratio from 916 to something else, whatever. I like to do as little number of steps as possible. So what I do is I kind of just review them and then download the ones that I like. The ones that I don't like, I don't download. So if I were to download this, download this I would just click on download HD. It downloads it to my local computer and for me it, it goes into my downloads folder so it's downloading here right chrome is showing that it's downloading right there one download in progress and then i would just go to that folder and go and see the video so here's the video here you can notice it's the same title 
join the challenge, create your own unique ideas. I can rename this if I want. Uh, that's up to me whether I want to do that or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on how well the title is with keywords and such. So at this point, I would go on to YouTube and start uploading the videos. I would select my files, select the one video, click open. It's going to be different if you have a Windows-based PC. This is the Mac. So here is where I'm going to put uh, any changes to the title of my short. You know, sometimes I put colons here or just change this. This thing that you're seeing right here, this is from vidIQ. It's another uh, browser extension that I installed. So you're, you're probably not going to have this unless you install that. I can do it, you know, modify the description of my video. This is just like normal, like uploading things, right? I can add it to a playlist if I want. No, it's not made for kids. Altered content. No, it's not, you know, it's, it's the AI cut the video, but it didn't alter the video. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through these and pick what's correct and then click next. And then right here where it says add related video, this is where you connect to your long form video. So this is where you click add and then go find the video that you cut it from and then click the video and then that connects the two. So now when someone's watching your short, there's going to be a little related video link and they can click that and then go to your long form video if they're interested in that. So I'm just, I would just continue uploading this and, and posting this like I normally do. I don't think I need to go step by step, but that's how to get Opus clips to take the clips and that's how to upload it to YouTube and link it to the existing long form video. The next thing that I would do is I would use a software called repurpose.io to take the video from a short over to Pinterest. Now I can do this manually. I could totally do this manually. I can go onto Pinterest and upload the very same video that I downloaded over to Pinterest. But because I do this in batches, I don't want to do that over and over and over again. I would rather use a program like I said, repurpose.io to do that. So the way that repurpose.io works is that you connect all of your social media accounts under connections. So I already have all mine defined. I've got my Facebook, my Pinterest, my TikTok, my Google Drive, my Snapchat. I've got, I don't know why that's another TikTok, a YouTube, a threads and an Instagram. And then workflows is how you define your source and your destination. So I usually just label it which way that I want it. So like, for example, I've got TikTok going to Facebook and then I've got an outro file that is for the TikTok shop. So, um, so what I'm going to do today is actually use this one YouTube shorts to Pinterest growing a YouTube channel board, because what I was talking about was about growing a YouTube channel. And that's that we, that's what you have to do is set up all your, your workflows that, that they work like that. Um, so I would go over here to view content. Like I said, this is already set up and repurpose.io has some amazing videos on how to do that. So I don't feel like I need to do that step-by-step step in this video. Maybe in a future one I will. Um, but basically what I would do is I would find those videos that I wanted to repurpose from YouTube shorts over to Pinterest. Now this hat, so the order of operations is that. I have to record the long form video first, upload it to YouTube. And then I've got to use Opus Clip to grab the URL, the link of that long form video in order to Opus Clip to make the clips. And then once Opus Clip has made the clips, I've got to download those and then upload those videos over to YouTube Shorts. And then for this part, I've got to have the videos already published to YouTube Shorts in order to send it over to Pinterest. So. Like I said, I could do that manually on Pinterest at the same exact time that I'm uploading to YouTube shorts, but I don't want to, I would rather do it this way because I had like six different videos and I was, it, I don't know. I just find this easier. This is easier for me. So what I would do is I would go on the video that I wanted to, uh, send over and let me do one. That's actually not this one. These ones are already scheduled. Let me just kind of stimulate how I would do it on this one video, even though it's not the correct video, I would just click the schedule button. And then this pop-up is going to come up and then I would type in, you know, what title I wanted to say in Pinterest, 
what description I wanted to see it in the Pinterest, and then the link, I would use the link for the long form video right here. And then I would click schedule or publish now. Publish now will publish it immediately. I can put a cover image if I want to, I'm not going to. If I click schedule, then I can pick, you know, a date and time of when I want to have that go out. And the way that it looks over on Pinterest of the ones I've already sent over there. So like, for example, this one, it's in video format. It looks like I've got double captions, which is a bummer. You know, these, these are things that you have to play with and, and learn. Oh, okay. I was able to, to turn it off by clicking CC right there. But here's the, you know, the title that I put in, the description that I put in, and then the link here is to that long form video. So if somebody wanted to kind of learn more about this, they could click here if you're a new and it would go to this long form video. So that's how to post it on Pinterest using repurpose.io. The next thing I want to show you is how to find out if the video views are coming from the shorts and or Pinterest. So to do that, I would go to my YouTube studio, which I have it open right here. I would find the content of that video that I had posted. So I've done this video and I've done this video. So this pink one, and then this one that says challenge yourself. So either one of those I can go, actually let's go on this, this pink one, because this is the one that I actually have posted to Pinterest already. The other ones are just scheduled right now in um, Pinterest. They haven't actually posted. So I would click on this little guy right here where it says analytics. And I would go into the reach tab and scroll down to traffic sources. And then we're going to inspect this here. So to see the ones that are coming from shorts, you're going to see related shorts. So related shorts is the one where somebody was watching it on the shorts feed and has come over from that related short. So viewers four. So that's amazing. I don't know if you can specifically tell which short because some of the videos of the longhorn videos have gotten like six to eight shorts and I've posted them all. I don't, I don't know how to tell which one I'm sure there's another way. And then there would be another one. I don't know if it's direct or external. So one of these two is going to be from people coming over from Pinterest. So, uh, that's how you can kind of tell how, how your, your videos are going. So you would look at your actual shorts. Um, uh, so let's look at maybe this short of, of 453. I don't know if there's a way to tell on the short itself. Let's kind of explore it a little bit. You know, this, this isn't a learning thing for me too. So I just kind of like trying to figure out how people are getting places. So I don't know how to tell that this person went from the, this short over to content suggesting this short. Playlist featuring this short engagement. I don't know how to tell if they've gone over to the long form video from here. Maybe they haven't. I don't know. I don't know how to tell. I really don't. So that's that. And then the other thing I wanted to share, um, I was just looking at it. External sites or apps. So I want to go to the main video over here. I'm kind of going a little all over the place. I apologize. Um, because this just came up as I was looking at it. Um, let's scroll down here. External sites or apps proportion of total traffic, not enough traffic data to see where it's coming from. So it, I, this may or may not have come from Pinterest. I don't know, but I don't think there's enough traffic for them to analyze that. So we'll see, but that's what I'm going to continue doing and see how that goes but that's basically the process that I'm working with on doing this. If you're interested in watching me monetize my channel, you can check out my playlist. I'm going to put it right here. This is going to be week by week, my analytics and how I'm getting new subscribers, where I'm getting them from. I'm going over my content, going over my analytics and what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. That's going to be right here for you to check out if you're interested.